I know I've been out in the wind harvesting stuff so you can hear the wind probably howling in the background um, yeah just ignore that um, if this is the first time that you've been to my channel thank you for joining us and if you've been here before thanks for coming back so um, I in a separate video I showed you my harvest and um, everything that I picked in this video I'm showing you one of the recipes that I'm using some of the harvest for. So with the cabbages, I'm going to make coleslaw. And first of all, we'll look at what ingredients do I need to make this coleslaw. So here are the ingredients that we're going to be using. So first of all, of course, coleslaw has cabbage. We're going to use, at the back, we're going to dress it with some apple cider vinegar and some olive oil, but that will be done just before we serve it. We have a red and green capsicum. An apple now I'd normally use a green apple but I don't have any so the red apple will have to do today we've got celery we've got um, spring onions and I didn't get them out but we need carrots as well we've used grated carrots in this okay so I chopped up all the vegetables and put them in here so I'll just go through that um, what I've done there so I've cut the spring onions very finely the apple is cut into pieces that size. Um, the capsicum I've cut up there. Celery, that's my celery there. It's not very good celery, but yeah, it's what I had in the garden. And then down the bottom is um, a whole pile of cabbage. With the quantities of this, you um, decide what ratio you'd like, but generally I use one whole apple sometimes i'll use two depending if i'm using a lot of cabbage um, i'll use one red capsicum one green capsicum um, three or four spring onions three or four carrots grated and that's what i'm going to do now i've got my grated carrot here so i'm just adding that there we go oh, that's a bit of um spring onion that's dried up a little bit there we go Okay, so now what we need to do is to dress it and toss it. So a nice big spoon. And again, this is just, you put in what you want. So just a little bit of olive oil. Not too much. And vinegar. I might just shake this up first. You can use other vinegar if you like, but I prefer in this recipe to use apple cider vinegar. It gives it a lovely, fresh taste. Now we don't use any salt on this. And this is very different to how a lot of people make coleslaw. This is not a creamy coleslaw um, that you would generally find in the supermarket. Um, generally they're got very heavy with um, mayonnaise, very creamy. This is not creamy at all. So I'll just break that apple up a little bit. So I just make sure that that's mixed thoroughly. And I don't add too much olive oil. I might add a little bit more just before serving, but if I add any more at this stage, what'll happen is it generally goes to the bottom of the bowl and whatever's sitting at the bottom um, sort of sucks it up and it goes really limp. So I'm going to be serving this tomorrow. I might have a little bit today but generally I'm going to have it tomorrow with my dinner and um, then the other is for probably I'll give it to my daughter. So there you have it. That's coleslaw done dies way. I hope that you try this. I hope that you enjoy it and um, if you'd like to leave some comments please do. Thanks for joining me on this video and hope to see you back again soon. Bye.